Hey everybody, it's Julie from A Beautiful Horizon, and today we're talking about four ways that you can stick to new habits and routines. So we all do this. We say, oh, I want to do this, or oh, I want to do that. And then five weeks later, we're like, oh, I was going to do this or that, and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> Well, hopefully in this video, I can give you a few ideas for ways to stick to the things that you want to do and make them a real part of your life. So number one is attaching the new habit to something that you do already. So say you want to drink more water, maybe you already drink coffee every morning. <laughs> so instead of reaching for that coffee right away, maybe you challenge yourself, I am going to drink eight ounces of water before I drink my coffee. You might even need to write it on the fridge or something, water before coffee. And then that'll help you remember to drink water in the morning. And maybe there's another time of day that you want to drink water and just have that written down. And then that way, every time you go to drink, maybe your afternoon cup of coffee, you remember to drink water first. Number two is accountability partners. So maybe this means somebody in your household, like your husband or your kids, or maybe this means a friend that you can call, or maybe this means a Facebook group or talking to people on Instagram or YouTube about the thing that you want to do. Having other people to talk to about it and keep you accountable can be really helpful when you're trying to start a new habit. A big tip for me is to make my phone my reminder. I talked in an earlier video about phone detoxes and putting them away or turning things off, but you can actually turn things on to help you be more productive sometimes as well. So once you've gone through turning off all the notifications that don't help you, you can turn on notifications that will help you. And I love putting on daily reminders. I use um, an Android phone. And so I use the Google Calendar. I believe that with a Mac phone, or what do you call it, a, uh, an iPhone? <laughs> How old am I? Anyways, um, with an iPhone, I'm not sure what, if it's like iCal or something like that. Um, but anyways, just turning on reminders that'll go off. You can set them to go off every day of the week, or you can have them just be weekdays or weekends every other week, every other day, etc. <laughs> and... Um, they can help you to remember to do the things that you want to do. I have a free printable that I have made that shares some of the reminders that I have set on my phone that help me on a day-to-day -day basis. So maybe that'll help you if you want to set some reminders on your phone to just jog your memory of things that, what do I want to um, remember on a daily basis? Or maybe just things to write down in your planner and the differences there. And so hopefully that'll help you. So you can click the link in the description box to get that free download. And my last tip is to surround yourself with people who are super passionate about the habit that you want to acquire or the routine that you want to start. So say you want to get better at cleaning your house and you want a better house cleaning routine. Sometimes you can find on Instagram or on Facebook uh, somebody who really um, has a niche in that area and they post about it all the time. Maybe you're looking to declutter your house and there's a person who posts about minimalism and is always posting inspiring content about how great it is to have less stuff and more freedom. And, <laughs> and having a constant stream of inspiration can really help you to stick to the goals that you have set. So those are my ideas. If you have ideas on how to stick to your routines and goals, please let me know in the comments. I would love to read what you have to say and have everybody else have the opportunity to hear what you have to say as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Don't forget to check out that free printable and I will see you in my next video. Bye.